Um, Shaka, one of the many things that you're known for on ESPN FC are your very popular power rankings. Those are usually about club teams, but I want to turn that spotlight on CONCACAF because Kaylor Navas surely fits into this list. So we have asked you to give us your top five players present day right now in CONCACAF. Why don't you go through your list and then give us like a little brief explanation of each guy, then Herc and I, uh, as we do on FC, will tear you apart at the end. <laughs> All right, I, I, no, no problem at all. And it's present day right now, so there's quite a few players uh, who will be missing. Number one, Kaylor Navas. I've been singing his praises, as I say, for the last five or six years. So that comes as, as no surprise to anyone. Uh, number two, Alfonso Davies, who's established himself, in my opinion, as the best left back in world football and continues to do so. Came off the bench for, for Bayern Munich, and I thought you saw the best of Bayern Munich once he was on the park. I know there are other experts nations for that. Uh, number three, Weston McKinney. And, and him going to, to Rin, I didn't think we'd be talking that much about Weston McKinney. But he has been absolutely vital to Andrea Pirlo and Juventus, despite the disappointments of, of their own season. So Genio Dest comes in at number four. And this is primarily for his performances for Barcelona over the last couple of months. I, I don't think he started the season that well, um, but now all of a sudden has found his rhythm and has become one of Barcelona's more important players. Uh, and in at number five, Leon Bailey for Bayer Leverkusen. And, and I, I, I have to admit, this was close between Bailey and, and Lozano, um, kind of given both, uh, both of their seasons that they're having with Napier and Leverkusen re respectively. I just think we've gotten a better return from, from Bayer Leverkusen, who themselves maybe have, have flown a little bit under the radar. They're joint in points with, with Borussia Dortmund in, in the Bundesliga. So Leon Bailey scrapes in at five just ahead of your boy Chucky Lozano. <laughs> <laughs> Am I taking crazy pills here, Sebi? Wait, are you, are you, Shaka, are you trying to yeah. tell me a top five in CONCACAF, you have zero Mexican players and their national team consistently dominates the region? <sighs> Who, so who right now is in there? Who right now is in there? That's the question. Chucky Lozano is important for, for Napoli. You can make a valid argument. He should be very high on that list. And I actually want to ask you, if Raul Jimenez is healthy, is he in this list? He's in. And he's another player who I, I think um, has gone a little bit under not uh, unnoticed and, 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 uh, and underappreciated. And, and listen, let, let, let's put things in perspective. Despite Wolves' own struggles this season, and, and I think people put a lot of that down to Diego Jota, given his importance to them and how well he's, he's settled in at Liverpool, just coming back from, from injury. But even this season, four Wolves, up, and, up, up until um, up, up until Lozano's injury, Wolves had lost three games up to that point end of November. In December, Wolves lost four games in, in, in total. That spoke to his importance, and when he went down with that injury against Arsenal, how it impacted Wolves and their season. And now they're saying they're not going to risk him. I think that's a, that's a good decision between now and the end of the season. I don't think Wolves are going down. They're not going to do anything magical in terms of making a challenge for the top four or even top six. Probably be best just to get him back, restock, and then have a, a, a fresh push at, at, at the Premier League next season with a, a, a fully fit squad and one that they can call on all their, their best players. Shaka, I can't help but notice there's no Christian Pulisic uh, either in your top five. Um, but real quick, before we talk Pulisic, real short answer. If you had Jimenez healthy, where would he be in your five? <sighs> If I had him in as healthy, uh, he would probably get in maybe at three. And, and, and ah. right now, I, I, oh, that, that, that's a toss-up between him and, and Weston McKinney. And because we're speculating a lot, Weston McKinney has been far better than I ever expected him to be. So I could see, I, I could see him there, I could see him in as there, or just, or just below McKinney. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.